we have pretty much checked everywhere and all the terminals as far as I can see. Let's get out there onto this turboin. Turboin? Turboin. Onto the turbine platform and sort this thing out for our mad scientist. And we will do that, of course, as soon as we finished. Checking for more clues. I don't know if we're going to find any more auto mechanicals up there or uh, whether they'll be hostile. Now that I've sent the command to stop being hostile, my God, it's dark. Okay. So we are actually in orbit. Inside the atmosphere. You all right, boss? Uh, define all right. But this atmosphere is... Breathable. I'm... Am I hearing auto-mechanicals? I think I'm hearing... Activate electromechanical turbine. Before I do that, I think I... Yeah, there's uh, definitely auto mechanicals, and they don't look like they're going to be particularly friendly. Ah, uh, not sure if that's going to be an issue. Probably, and it, it looks like we got turrets. Okay, let's just have a look at the diagnostics on this. I sort of want to go and check over there. There's something about this that's making me a little nervous. Welcome user junior electrical technician number 09. Diagnosis. Maintenance required. Right, we've got to fix it. If I activate it without fixing it, are we going to break it? Let's try. Activating it. Request failed. Electromechanical turbine status. Yeah. Maintenance required. I'm guessing we have to go over there. Tell you what, let's just, um... Make sure we're not... System. Okay, let's go. Let's go upstairs and smack that one in the face. Like we are doing this! Whoa. And... Has anyone seen the turret? Okay. So okay, I've seen the... Oh! Okay, did I hit it? I did! Come here! Oh, God. Well, I am so gonna have to hop. A lot more, uh, Danger here than I imagined. Where are they, though? Okay, okay, you know what? No, uh... All right. Don't worry, Ellie, we'll get you up. I found a use for the lightning lobber, I think. If I can aim it. Because unfortunately, oh God, unfortunately, hitting that with a hammer is not easy. Do you know what? Actually, it's not that hard. No, no. Can we do that again? Probably. I think we're going to have to repeat that process on the other side. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm lost. Sorry about that, Ellie. Uh, okay, we can loot later. We can loot later. I'm pretty sure I saw a turret on this side. So, okay, I can get close to the turret if I get right underneath it and then smack it. Okay, how the hell do we do this? And make 
sure I'm wearing decent armor. How do we get over there, then? Do we even need to get over there? We might not... Stealing if no one sees. We might not need to even get over there. Okay. Somehow, that feels... odd. Yes, it does. It feels... very odd. Yes, I'm just... I'm, uh, I'm, uh... searching for materials with which to repair things. Yes. I'll keep with, it down. with which to do science with. Besides, I don't think anyone's going to come up here. Well, maybe our crazy scientists will once we're done here, but, you know... We will consider this payment for helping him. Shock Cannon Hyper. Right. So you were high on Dr. Lowe's mixture. Didn't help much, though, did it? Right. Out of curiosity, what have we got to repair? All right. Okay. No. I think we're going to have to go over there. Oops. Yes, we're definitely going to have to go over there. Okay, no, don't be doing that thing. That's really aggravating. Get down here and be experimented upon. Whoa. I got... Whoa, okay, what? Something. Oh, actually, no, I shouldn't have done that. That was actually helping us, wasn't it? Where? Oh. Okay. Where's the turret? Okay, no, no. He's on our side now, isn't he? I should, I should, I should, I should let the turret focus on him. No, keep with the giggle gun. What are you doing? Everyone all right? I needed the giggle gun. Please tell me I can still hit this. Oh yeah, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. Much better. Yeah. Don't know what I was thinking, trying to use a ranged weapon. Use a hammer. It's the scientific way. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. God, that thing's... Is it wrong that I kind of want one? Like, maybe a smaller one? Fixed to my armor somehow? You know... I think it could be, um, kind of stylish. Um, still not really, uh, helping much in the way of repairing, though, is it? Right. I should now have enough armor parts that I do not need to pick any more up. I say that knowing that I will anyway. Really? Really? Come on. I am not a very athletic person, am I? Oh, 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 can we drop this down? No. I'm not really athletic at all. Kind of worrying. I should be. I'm pretty damned strong. Alright. Let's go and find something terminal-ish or machinery-ish. Oh! Oh, this is machinery-ish. I'm about to perform a detailed scientific analysis and repair of this console by poking it a little bit. Pulling it. No, pulling it, obviously. I knew that. I'm pulling it. I'm pulling the lever. Of course I'm pulling the lever. It's the scientific way. Pull the lever. Yeah, I should have known. Yes, I did know. I did. I was just testing. Um, Is that it? Have we... Have we successfully repaired? Probably not. We've probably got to do the same on the other side, yes? Maintenance required. All right, let's find another lever and give it a good pull. Whilst trying to avoid language that could possibly be taken the wrong way. Okay, here we go. Another lever, lever. Do 
think that's enough? You know, there's just... I, I don't quite know uh, precisely what the maintenance uh, process is for this. Could there be another... Oh, maybe there was... Was that, was that, a, was that a light bulb on before, or is the light bulb on? Ready for action! There we go! Tower 1 is now online. Tower 2 is online. We're activating the electromagnet... Electromechanical turbine. Excellent! They don't see that every day, Captain. Okay. That's good, though, right? Yeah, so there is an atmosphere here, and it is breathable. But we're far enough up that we can still be in orbit. I mean, technically, you can be in orbit at any height. You just need to be um, going a certain speed. Okay, anyway, you know what? Let's just start, go down, get the information we came for, and then get out of here, because it's a very depressing place. Yes, it is. I'm now worried that I didn't loot everything up there. I'm, I'm a little worried that we may have missed something. I, I didn't actually do a thorough loot before we came down. I, I sort of put it into my head that I was going to do it when it was all over, but now I realise that is an awful long way up. Let's hope we didn't miss anything important. Okay, Dr. Lowe. The facility's back on the grid and my pipes again floweth with the sweet, sweet essence of my salvation. Yeah, that could definitely be taken the wrong way. I suppose I have you to thank for realigning the machine. Of course, of course, Jasper, you imbecile. Okay. I yeah, Jasper, I'd like to ask you to concentrate, but not with uh, with chems. Right. Yes, of course. But not with chems. You'll need my voice to get into the chem lab. I'm obviously not coming with you, so I'm giving you a recording of my dulcet speech. That's this recording should get you into the chem nice. lab. I hope whatever you're after is worth the trauma. I wouldn't go back there if I was higher than the mercury levels in a can of salt tuna. Oh. Wait. Take my gun while you're at it. If you end okay. up dying on Gorgon, there's a non-zero chance I'll feel partially responsible. Neither of us want that. You're saying if I die, you will actually feel... some guilt? You really are quite an unusual person in, in many ways, but... Okay, I need help with security camera. You know that place better than everyone. Have some Adrena time if you want it. it. Has a stronger effect than your sky. No, no, no. That's stuff. That stuff turns you into a marauder. No, no, no. Um, no, I need help with the security in the chem lab. You know that place better than anyone. Die, perhaps? Auto mechanical sentries are generally programmed to ignore corpses. I don't like the idea of going back to that place, to that life. Yes, I know it's not me risking my throat gallivanting around Gorgon. It's you, for whatever madcap reasons you've got. I've helped you once, and I don't feel great about it. I made a clean break from Gorgon, and now it feels like you're asking me to tether myself back to that place. Uh, okay, whoa, 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 Jay! Oh, you know that incriminating letter on your terminal would be shame if someone said, No, no, no. Okay, look, seriously. Let me worry about Gorgon. Helping me could help you move on. You know, shed some of the guilt so you don't have to uh, imbibe quite so much of the chem. Yeah? I suppose you've got a point. Or something resembling a point. I'm emotionally addled right now, and I'm allowing my sentiments to get the better of me. Good man. Here, my personal security keycard. There's a hallway near the processing room. It leads to a security terminal. Use this key card to unlock the hallway and disable security. Okay, that's definitely better than your original plan, which was for me to be dead. Um, what's the draft message in your... T yeah, what is that draft message about, anyway? Did you snoop through my things? Yes. Just admit it to me. You do have gall, I'll give you that. Scientific Look, research. I keep a draft on my terminal where I vent my occasional frustrations with upper management. 
It's honestly one of my less detrimental coping methods, as I am not stupid enough to fill out the name in the address field. Right, okay, okay. Uh, I do want to talk about Project Gorgon, just in case there's any details you may have missed. Even if I wanted to talk about Project Gorgon, I couldn't. All my memories of Gorgon are intact, but they're in disarray. Like a book with its pages shuffled. Making sense of those memories requires clarity of mind. Clarity that only Sky High gives me. To tell you everything I know, I'd have to be dangerously euphoric. No. 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 We can probably handle more or less anything that's there because we do have a hammer. And oddly enough, there are moments where I do want to slap you around a little bit, but I genuinely feel like there may actually be a human being somewhere within that skin of yours. It's, it's a drug-addled, propaganda-filled, slightly weird human. But, um, yeah. Can you at least tell me the formula for Adrena time? I don't know why, but it may come in helpful later on. Surely you jest. Even were I inclined to teach you, which I am not, you wouldn't be able to replicate an alternative to Compound X. I don't actually want to replicate the compound it. Compound is derived from the metabolic waste of xenocytes, a microbial life form growing beneath the surface of Gorgon. However, they're accursedly sensitive to their ecosystem. Okay. So you can't get them off world. So in fact, Gorgon is the only place where Adrena Time can be made. Exactly. When Project Gorgon was active, corporate's varied attempts to port Xenocytes off-world killed them, every time. And even were one able to cultivate Xenocytes in a Petri dish, they'd need millions to refine even a dash of the compound. We mined immense amounts of Compound X directly from subterranean caverns in Gorgon. So you see, there is no Adrena time without Project Gorgon. Interesting. No, that is actually very interesting information. Thank you very much. Also, seriously, lay, lay off the huffing. Felix is right. You really, really are not doing yourself any favors. What was the easiest way out of... Oh, oh, he gave us a gun. He gave us... He gave us employee... Be it's a science weapon. It's a science weapon! <gasps> okay. Skill handguns, damage 67, looks like plasma damage. This experimental device was created to keep employees on their feet, regardless of how much pain or exhaustion they may be experiencing. As all good workers know, unconsciousness is just another word for wage theft. What does that mean? This experimental device was created to keep employees on their feet. So, it, so if I use this, it keeps me on my feet? So if I if I shoot people with this, if I shoot if I shoot like my enemies with this, does it keep? Oh, do I drain life from them or something? Okay, we're probably going to need to find something and um. Not a sprat. No, no, no. Let's not be experimenting on the poor sprats. I'm sure we will find... God, I was about to say, I'm sure we would find a volunteer. I'm beginning to sound like one of the corporations. But what I actually meant by a volunteer was somebody who was trying to kill us. So, that's completely different and not at all worrying, yes? Calling somebody who's attempting to smash your face in with a hammer or a knife a volunteer for your scientific experiment is perfectly acceptable. Yeah? Right, we're heading back to Gorgon. So you didn't actually hide in one of the containers. I'm sort of glad. How are you doing? Is something leaking or does it always smell like this? Not that I'm complaining, I'm just curious. I'm pretty sure it always smells like this. Uh, it's, ooh. I do need to, first of all, repair some things. Lots of things, by the looks of things. I think I'm gonna leave that behind as, as interesting as it sort of was. Oh, did I accidentally fight in my safe crackers? That was silly of me, wasn't it? Right, okay, so, right, I've leveled up so I can tinker 
even further on the prismatic hammer, the mandibular rearranger, the mind control ray, and the shrink ray. These are so cheap, I might as well keep them constantly leveled up. Everything else, I sort of have to decide if it's worth it. Mind you, I've got so much money. Um, I keep thinking I'm going to find some wonderful outfit that I absolutely, you know, think is awesome and I'm going to need a lot of money for it and I'm saving for it, which is probably... S where's the new weapon? Is that it? No, where's... Where is... Modify... Break down... Where the... Okay, level 29. Um, I'll, I'll... I'm going to store that one. Okay, can I not... I can tinker things when they're equipped. Why couldn't I... Tink... Okay, science, science... Can I not tinker that weapon? Are you saying I cannot tinker my new science weapon, whatever it is? Because it doesn't do a huge amount of damage. I mean, I look... I, d I mean... Experimental device was created to keep employees on their feet. Okay, it probably does something else. We will figure it out. Magazine size, it's energy, fifth. Okay, you know what? We will find something eventually and figure it out. Was there anything else? I could tinker some of my armor. Now that I am a science virtuoso, I am not completely sure where I should focus now. I mean, two-handed melee, I could actually get the master ability, power and sweep attacks, chance to knock down 25%. That means every four hits, I'll probably knock an opponent down. But really, four hits? Usually that's enough to kill two opponents. I mean, I've, I've met some tough ones, but I'm not really feeling that like that's necessary. Same's true with Defense. I mean, I could increase block, which would improve my armor rating a tiny bit. And reduce harmful status effects. But honestly, not really an issue. I was thinking maybe I could get to 60 lockpick. Then I'd be able to preview what's inside locked containers and decide if it was worth going in there. But frankly, let's face it. It's going to be a very rare occasion when I look inside there and see something and think, I can't be bothered picking that lock. <sighs> I actually think engineering. 20% chance items that you repair will become pristine, increasing value and durability. It will mean I need to do, um, you know, engineering, uh, repairing a little less frequently. And to be honest with you, maybe it will be useful. Who knows? I'm usually out with either Ellie or Parvati, but with this, I suppose that means my engineering is going to be pretty spectacular as well. And I, I think I can live with that. I think I can live with spectacular engineering. Perks. Confidence. Yes. Your next attack after killing an enemy is guaranteed critical hit. Definitely don't need that. Want it. Yes. Want it. Right. We are heading back to Gorgon, but before we do that, let's, um, let's drop our passenger off at the Groundbreaker. And whilst we're there, I do want to speak to Junlei about that insane, well not insane, evil scientist who is currently living on the Groundbreaker and could do with the severe case of being locked away and slapping a little bit. Oh. Hello? Oh god, did she run off the ship that quickly? Really? Has anyone seen our passenger? Please tell me no one's shoved her in a box or something. We didn't, did we? Please? Pretty please? No? <sighs> Alright. Let's just assume she uh, heard us land and thought, I shall run out right now. Um, Felix and Ellie. Felix and Ellie. I we're going to take Parvati just because we are going to go and see Junlei. Might as well. Feel a bit weird without Ellie, though. Here's the other thing about Tossball. Tossball is all about scoring goals. Scoring goals. Got it. 
and you can score a goal by kicking the ball, throwing the ball, or, uh... Or running it into the Saturday goal if you're a visitor. Or the Sunday goal if you're on the home team. Okay, so if you're on the home team, you want to run the ball into the Sunday goal? Makes, uh, perfect sense. Yeah. You can also kick it. That's called a foot goal. Or throw it. That's called a hand goal. Running's worth more points, but it's got some risks. You could get cleaved, hacked, winged, bronzed. You could tumble the ball in the Wednesday zone, also known as getting humped. Mm. Felix, are we still talking about toss ball or...? Uh, well, yeah. What'd you think we were talking about? I'm with you. Um, is there a move that involves, you know, a hammer? Is there a term for that? I mean, you said cleaved. What about splatted? Is there a, is there a splatted? I really am a little disappointed that our passenger didn't hang around to say thank you. To be honest, I am. Maybe she went to the bar. Can we see her? Freight to crew. No, I'm not. I'm not seeing her. Hmm. Okay. That's not exactly the most grateful person we've ever met. I mean, granted, she was helpful. She did give us a very impressive eyepiece. Have you seen this man? Report offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local... Nope, never seen him. Never heard of him. Right. Okay. Jun Lei. Felix Millstone. Nice to see you out of Docking Bay. Keeping your nose clean? Yes, ma'am. Been at least a couple weeks since my last nose-related incident. Uh-huh. I'm glad to see you in a captain's custody. Just try not to steal any critical parts from my ship. Uh... Yeah, uh, I sense a little history there. It's possible I got caught lifting some spare parts a couple years back, but it was only just that one time. Honest. I tell you to stay out of trouble, but I know you'll find it anyway. Whatever you do, just make sure I don't find out. How's the unreliable treating you these days, Wildflower? Okay, Wild? I've decided I really love hearing you call me that, so, okay. so keep doing it. I know what it means to have a crew. If you ever felt like jumping ship, there's a home for you on Groundbreaker. But, uh, yeah, yeah, hello, hello, current employer right here. You'll know when I'm addressing you, Captain. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, thanks. But that wouldn't be... The Captain did get me out of Edgewater and all. I mean, it's up to you. I hope you're worthy of her loyalty, Captain. No, it's definitely... Okay, kind uh, Parvati's still... Stop trying to poach my crew. I mean, I'm not saying you can't if she wants to go and everything looks. Look, Parvati, are you still happy with us? I am, Captain. Okay. Happier than I ever been, really. Plus, I'm in space. Okay. Keep our girl in one piece and we won't have any problems, Captain. Sure. That's, yeah, no, you, uh... Okay, look, actually, I came to tell you that the, you've got a lunatic scientist uh, hanging around in one of your loading bays, I think. But I don't think you're going to, um, listen to me, are you? No. Okay, fine, fine. When this is all over, then, I think we're going to have to call in on our evil scientist and um, have a long chat with her. I'm still not happy with the idea that she's just hanging around on this station doing science. I mean, it's not the fact that it's science that she's doing that bothers me. It's the fact that she's the one doing it. You lived your whole life in Edgewater? Yeah, until the captain picked me up. I was the town mechanic. Had my own little garage and everything. Don't know how you did it. If I had to spend every day working on the board's machinery, I would have gone spare. I don't think I belonged, really. Folks tried to treat me nice, but we didn't understand each other. I'm glad the boss picked you up. Crew wouldn't be the same without you. That's real sweet, Felix. Right back at you. Yeah, damn right, damn right. We, we, we really probably wouldn't be able to fly the ship without Pavati. But to be honest, it just wouldn't be the same without you. You were, after all, the first 
member of the crew. Technically, Max was, I suppose. He kind of he kind of jumped in and said, can I join the crew? And I said, yeah, before you asked. But to be honest with you, you know, we were all already traveling together and I was really, really going to be asking you. So you're still the first, okay? You're number one. Yes, you are. Should we go and speak to Minnie before we go back to Gorgon and see if she's got any information? I mean, we've now got the access we need, but do we have any other information that might be useful to run by her and see what she says? I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I suppose it wouldn't hurt too much to just check and see. Yeah, and she did sound a little, I don't know, shall we say, peeved when we, uh, that you are not insured. Thank you. That, uh, that we'd left the system without, uh, telling her what was going on. So, you know, let's just cover our bases. I'm trying to think what we might know that might be useful. Where's... Oh, there it is. Is that a robot still? This unit cannot bring you any drinks in its current state. Really? Can we not f fix this? No, apparently not. Okay, never mind. Yeah. We found out that you cannot make Adrena time anywhere else but Gorgon. Beyond that, I'm not totally sure we found anything that is going to be uh, important, but you never know. Okay, uh, Minnie. Captain, charmed as always. About about the job. Ask anything you like, Captain. It's nice to have a competent partner for a change. Someone's on to me. They sent a warning. That is true. Someone was on to me, and they sent a warning. Ooh, how ominous! It's like something out of an adventure serial. A bit unoriginal, perhaps, but still exciting. Yeah. Now I'm supposed to say, that tells us we're on the right track. Their scare tactics won't frighten us off. You know how these things go. Right. Who else is actually interested in Gorgon, though? Spacer's choice. Auntie Cleo? This could go all the way to the top of the food chain, but we're not going to find out by clutching our pearls and quaking in our boots. This poor excuse for intimidation is a bargain basement job. Nothing for you to worry about. I'm not Feel worried free to use these about amateurs it. for target practice if and when the time comes. It'll do wonders for your morale. I'm curious about it more than anything. Pirates raided my ship. Do you know anything about that? I know it sounds very daring and brave and impressive. Space has gotten awfully dangerous since I started working for you, Minnie. No, 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 it's always been dangerous. It was, but that's beside the point. Did they board your ship? Was there a sword fight? They tried. Oh, you're tried. probably sick of talking about it by now. And it wasn't so much as a I sword fight as a hammer fight. I hope learn their lesson. Don't um, get me wrong. I respect outlaws and free thinkers. But the moment they lay a hand on my favorite freelancer, they're nothing. Acceptable losses. Not worth a line item in my ledger. Little, um, little callous, but, uh, yeah, I mean, they're dead. Well, apart from one of them, and <sighs> he was annoying enough to actually smack around as well. Although, in the end, he was just <sighs> a quaking coach down on his luck and totally out of his depth. Any theories on who hired them, though? Someone who wanted to test you against a worthy foe. Someone without a care for the human lives they would squander in the they effort. They were not really worthy. Whoever they are, I like their style. Okay. Um. Of course, my dear captain. I look forward to it. Sure, thank you. Um. The pleasure is mine. Right, let's get, let's get back to, um, getting that journal, shall we? She seemed a little, um, I don't know. Callous is the wrong word. 
pleased with the idea of carnage and fighting. And then, look, look, I, 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 I understand the thrill of battle, charging in with a hammer and, you know, laying into your foes. It's, it's exhilarating. But she kind of made it feel a bit creepy. Is he me or does she sort of give off a bad guy vibe? Hmm? Because, like, like, I'm pretty damn sure. I know, look, spoiler. I'll talk to Ellie. Let's face it, pretty sure Mummy's still alive and she's the one that's caused all this. But it seems like she's trying to shut the place down out of some sense of, well, remorse maybe? Like, she, she realizes it's dangerous, yeah? Maybe Minnie is uh, not trying to clear her family name, but get the project back up and running, and her mother doesn't want that. But that wouldn't explain... Like, because I was, what I was thinking was, she can't be the one that sent us the death threat, right? Because that would make no sense. She's the one that hired us. And it wouldn't make any sense that she's the one that sent pirates. I mean, that sounds... More like it's, um, mother. You would expect her to send pirates to stop us because she doesn't want whatever's in Gorgon getting out, right? But again, the threat didn't sound quite right either because the ghost of Gorgon sounded more like, Save yourself, do not come any further. Whereas the other threat had this kind of, you have interfered with my plans for too long. And then, you know, you'd imagine them drumming their fingers. And then and then when the report came back that we'd been killed, they'd say something like, excellent. You know, you know what I'm, you know what I'm, you all know what I'm saying, yeah? I feel like we're in a three-way, th okay, that definitely is going to come out wrong. Um... A Truxican standoff. Like, there's three parties here all working against each other. Minnie, Mother, and someone else. And I'm trying to figure out who we're going to end up hitting the hardest, I guess. All right, never mind. We're not going to find out here, and we're not going to find out speculating. Get back to Gorgon and get back to doing what we do best, which is hitting things un till we get answers. Ada was saying something. Do you think it was important? It might have been important. It was probably important. I've sort of, sort of gotten used to ignoring her a little bit. Right, let's let's see where we're going. We've got to get into the chem lab, and that is there, which is all the way around, right? However, we also have the HIA facility, and that is right there. Let's do the HIA facility first. Yeah, I've sold everything. Right. What? 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 No! No, we opened this! We opened this! Didn't we open? Oh, no, no, this is not, this is not the gate. This is not the gate, this is the... Ignore, ignore me, I'm freaking out over nothing. I thought that was the gate to the elevator, and I thought it had been closed. Um... Yeah, the gates and the walls look very similar. That's my excuse. It's just the gates have this these marks. Shut up. It's It's been a busy day flying around doing things, okay? I can feel you both judging me silently. Fine. Okay. Hello! Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Um a mistake. We're the best there ever was. Okay, you! Gonna find you. Attack! Attack! That's not... Okay, that is not that is not doing anything. Have we got someone else? You're gonna hit someone? Who are you gonna hit? Where who who are you? Okay! 
Okay, so this did not... This experimental device was created to keep employees on their feet, regardless of how much pain and... Oh, does, is this a healing gun? Is this a healing gun? I thought this was a gun that would damage people, because it said it damaged people, but would somehow restore life to you, drain them. Oh, God, it is just a healing gun. Look at it. Look, it's a... That is like a total waste of time. No, it's not, Ellie. Can you use this on me? Can you? If I give you this, are you going to make the same mistake I made and try and heal the enemies? Or are you going to use it on me? Please say you will use it on me. Because I'm... Dr. Ellie with the doctor's gun. First of all, need to... Right, yes. Okay. This does mean you won't have the shrink ray. All right, so it's just a support weapon. It's not a weapon. It's a support device. It is a support device. Let's read that again. This experimental device. Yeah, it didn't say weapon, did it? Didn't say weapon. And the fact that it said damage 67 is irrelevant. This experimental device was created to keep the employees on their feet, regardless of how much pain and exhaustion they may be experiencing. As uh, ah, right. That may, actually, when, when I read it now, it makes way more sense. It's, as all good workers know, unconscious is just another word for wage theft. I mean, you wouldn't have your workers shooting things and draining them of life. Of course, it's, it's up. Yeah, no, it makes more sense when, when I think about it. Okay, I just, I, I think I just got it into my head that it would drain the life out of things. Like, leave a shriveled corpse. Really? How odd. I completely missed this last time. All right, okay. Let's... I thought for a second I'd left my... I can take a hint. No! Real slick. I can take a hint. Obviously not. You obviously can't take direct instructions that you don't need to be quiet when I'm lockpicking like that. Where the... There it is. I suppose I should be glad. There's probably someone out there who gets really angry at people who don't go quiet when they creep down like that, I suppose. Did anyone else get a really, really sort of weird, creepy vibe when I unlocked this door? Was it just me? Or did anyone else feel like, you know? Yeah. I sort of feel like I'm in a black and white horror movie at times. Okay, I was wrong about it being black and white. It's monochrome with a sepia tint. Right. This is either going to be very scary or very silly. Or perhaps a little bit of both. Terminal dead. Wow, somebody's already looted. I tell you what, we'll um, leave the looting for on the way out, maybe. Yeah. Definitely going for a creepy. Ugh, something smells like a marauder's armpit. Trying real hard not to breathe in. Trying hard not to ask Ellie how she knows what a marauder's armpit smells like. Yeah. Okay. So... This... Okay. 
sister's choice facility. My, 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 my name is Dr. Marion Blakesley, and I'd like to congratulate you all on volunteering for this important opportunity. Whatever your past, no, no, that as of today, each of you will be part of something greater. Together, we will unlock the path to discoveries. Profit, 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 profit. Our brightest minds did their dirtiest work here. We made puppets out of people and tested them until they broke. Walk softly, Captain. Some of them still live here, and they hate to be disturbed. They clearly don't know how we work, Captain. Yeah. Uh -huh. I never walked softly in my life. I ain't about to start now. Excellent. Glad we're in agreement. Savage test subject. Okay. I feel like we should at least attempt diplomacy. Hello? How are you? We're very nice people that have come here to try and fix everything. Would you be interested in allowing us to wander around and find things? Please pay attention! Okay, fine. The person does not seem to care. Hello? It's what about- boss. Oh, you are, you're healing me! Look at this! This is awesome! No, you can keep doing that. That's a, Oh, you're probably reloading. Oh! No, that was the one you were mind controlling, wasn't it? You were mind controlling that one. Hysterical test subject. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We will. Everyone, all right? End their misery. Oh, they're wearing those injection suits. They're wearing those in injection suits. Pressurized injection mask. Right. So, I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want you to have the shrink ray, then. If she's got the healing gun, maybe you should have the shrink ray. Because the problem is, is every time you use the giggle gun, I still go over and hit them. It's almost like there's a line drawn to them that says, go hit them. But they're on our side, and that's, that's sort of a bit wasteful, really. So, I tell you, what, we're going to give you the shrink ray. Yeah? I'm sure you'll have as much fun with it. It won't sound as amusing. Well, it depends. When they speak, it can be amusing. Okay. Found the way up. Also found... Why is there a brown haze to everything? Beyond, you know... I can take a hint. It being... White chocolate yummies, yes, but somebody's been nibbling at it. I mean, really. Pick up toss ball card. Welcome to Human Inquiry Martin, the space, Spacer's Choice Facility. My, 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 my name is Dr. Mary. Now, we've already heard this. Okay. Incoming messages. Display incoming messages from Blakesley. Subject safety protocols. In order to minimize damage to company property and or personnel, please observe the following guidelines during the volunteer induction process. Do not touch or handle test subjects. Please defer to security personnel. Avoid using inflammatory phrases or terms such as untested chemicals. Consider patented, patented spaces choice formula. Test subject, consider valued volunteer. Cells, consider living quarters. Remind subjects that compliance is one of the requirements for their contract with Spacer's Choice. Do not interrupt official Spacer's Choice communications and or marketing while directing volunteers. Architects, balls, is that all of the guidelines? Look, these people are coming here from Tartarus. Don't let your guard down, don't get friendly, and don't get close. If everyone does their job right, these volunteers will leave these facilities, facility as free and upstanding citizens. Dr. Marion Blakesley. Do you think she believed that? Do you think she believed that this drug would fix them? Because I'm finding that somewhat difficult to believe. I mean, when you call your test subjects valued volunteers, 
you're definitely overcompensating. Upcoming changes. In light of certain recent developments, our friend at OCI, our friends at OCI have generously provided us with advice and guidelines intended to ensure the best possible outcomes for our research here at Human Inquiry and Auditing. To that end, we will be establishing new testing parameters and volunteer preparation guidelines effective immediately. These guidelines will be provided to you at your stations. I really would like to congratulate you all on what you've achieved so far. Keep your heads down, your minds focused on the war work, and the rest will come easy. If you have any concerns, kindly forward them to my assistant, Benjamin Morley. Okay. From Morley. Subject, Ari, question. Every volunteer means just that, Ms. Sonoda. We're in a vital phase of the testing process, and that means every volunteer participates in the trials. It's all the more critical that we maintain careful records of the dosages involved, of course. We're counting on you for that. Okay. Outgoing messages. To Weaver. Subject. Help. Weaver, have you seen my office keycard? Is this one of your little tests? It's not funny. Security is already at full burn. They're gonna lose their bolts when they catch me taking the long way round to the faculty areas. Please tell me it's sitting on your desk at something. Cali Sonoda, volunteer handler. Volunteer handler. Yeah. That's such a nice term, isn't it? We, right, so we need to find an office key card that may be in someone else's office, otherwise we may have to take the long way round to the facility areas. I have a feeling that we'll probably end up doing both because, well, we're looking for clues and data and the occasional item. We're also looking for wherever that recording's coming from so we can give it a little maintenance. <laughs> 